Hey guys, so today we are talking about moments, the turning effect of a force, right? A force not only can cause an object to translate. So what is translating here? Okay, translating is to change position. Okay, a rotate is to, you know, um, turn. Okay, so uh, for object to turn, right, you need two forces and they are not supposed to act uh, about the same same line, right? Okay, so what we are concerned with here, right, is this, when we apply a force on an object with a pivot, right, um, this object will definitely turn, right? Some very common examples is like um, turning the door, opening a window, you know, the one that opens outwards, not a, not a sliding kind. Okay, so with a pivot, when you apply a force on the object, right, the object will turn. Okay, so this turning effect, okay, we call moment. Okay, the amount of moment you have is the force times the perpendicular distance, perpendicular being very, very, very important, okay, um, from the force to the pivot. Okay, the more moment there is, the easier it is for the object to turn. Okay, I was stressing that perpendicular is very important. Okay, perpendicular is very important. So, uh, so let's look at how to find the perpendicular distance for each of these cases. Okay, so first thing you do is to draw, extend the line of action of the force. So if this arrow is a force, you extend and then this is the line of action, okay? So after you extend the line of action, right, you draw a perpendicular line from the line of action of the force to the pivot. So in this case, this is my perpendicular distance, okay? So let's look at this example here, all right? So the line of action of force is this direction, okay? And then where is my perpendicular distance? My perpendicular distance is here. Okay. The perpendicular distance doesn't need to cut where the force is. This force that is acting some distance away from the pivot, right, is able to cause an object, if there is any object, can cause an object to turn. Okay, so um, let's do it one more time. Okay, line or action of force, that's the first thing you do always extend the line of action of force, right? So when given a question and there are multiple forces, so just take out your ruler and extend every force first, okay? That's the first thing you do. Then after that, for every force, draw in the perpendicular distance, okay? So label the perpendicular distance first, then after that, if you need to, then you go and concern yourself with uh what is how how long is that distance okay so to for the perpendicular distance you only need a force and a pivot with one force and one pivot you can get moments ready so don't forget it right okay so if there is a force here right so let's extend the line of action of force as well okay once we do that right realize that in this case, right, the line of action cuts through the pivot. So, what is my perpendicular distance? My perpendicular distance is zero. There is no distance from the pivot to the line of action of force. Okay, this will cause, this will mean no moment. What does no moment actually mean? Object does not turn. So let's do some simple example here, right? So I have my force five Newton here, okay? Is the 120 cm the perpendicular distance or is it the 80 cm? Draw the line of action of force first. 
draw the perpendicular distance. So all I'm looking at is right now is only this line and this dot. That's the only thing I'm looking at right now. Okay. And then draw in the perpendicular distance. This is my perpendicular distance. Okay. Then look only then, right, when you label the perpendicular distance, then you look at the diagram. Use all the measurements in the diagram to find how long is your perpendicular distance. In this case, it's just right there, ATCM. Okay, so my moment equals to 5, which is the force, multiplied by the distance. I get 400 Newton cm. Okay, because of the cm in the 80 meters, 80 cm. Right? Otherwise, you can convert the you can convert the 80 cm into 0 0.8 meters and i'm going to get 4 newton meters okay so similarly here okay you will notice that the perpendicular distance is here with my force okay my force perpendicular distance Right, and my perpendicular distance is 12 cm. So, a uh, moment here is force times perpendicular distance. Force being 50, perpendicular distance 0 0.12, and I get 1.8 newton meters. Okay. For a moment, a moment is a vector quantity, okay? But just now, it's just... A moment is a vector quantity. Just that it's not up, down, left, or right, okay? The direction now is clockwise or anticlockwise, okay? And just like the typical vectors, right? The vectors in the same direction will uh add onto each other or they will subtract on each other if the direction is different okay so here every force i will calculate out his moment so what's the moment of the three newton force so moment of three newton force equals to three times what's the perpendicular distance here 1.5 so this will be 4.5 Newton meter. And this is clockwise. All right? How about the moment of the 7 Newton force? This will be 7 times. What is the perpendicular distance from my 7 Newton force from the pivot? It is not 0 0.5. Huh? It is not 0 0.5. It is the whole 2 meters. Okay, so this is 2 meters here. This is 14 Newton meter, also clockwise. So total moment equals to 14 plus 4.5. I'm going to get 18.5 Newton meters clockwise. Okay. Okay, how about this one? All right, let's do the 3 Newton one first. So, moment of 3 Newton force. Okay, is it turning clockwise or anticlockwise? It is, you imagine that this is the center, draw an arc. Okay, draw an arc, and the direction is this direction. Okay, so this is anticlockwise. Okay, so 3 the force times the distance this the distance now is 1.5 so i get 4.5 newton meter here and then moment of the 7 newton force okay so here 7 newton force is this way and is this direction okay this is clockwise all right this clockwise, so 7 times 0 0.5, now it's 0 0.5, right? The, and I get 3.5 Newton meter 
This is clockwise. Okay, so total moment, you take different direction because different direction, I take big minus small. So 4.5 minus 3.5, I get 1.0 Newton meters. The direction, of course, follow the bigger one, anti-clockwise. So remember that uh, to get the moment of a force, you only need one force and one pivot, and you use the perpendicular distance to multiply, and that's it. Okay.